Today I want to show you how to read a ROM using the Medusa and we will be using a new adapter, the A4062 and we will be showing it using a Easy Flash testing board which is basically just a ROM uh, on a little board so you can play around with things. Let's connect it all together. We, we use the blue cable. It plugs into the Easy Flash adapter and it plugs into the Medusa right here on top. For some reason it's not going in. Okay. And the arrow on the um, Easy Flash has to match up with our testing board. And we plug it in. Chup. And as you see, the Medusa already detected the ROM chip and is now telling us all sorts of parameters about the, um, about the Mac it thinks it's seeing. In this case, there is a Mac ROM programmed into the ROM on the testing board. As you see, it's actually mani managing to read all the information. The funny thing is that the ROM on the board is, is not being powered at the moment. And yet it can read it. Let's see what information it shows. It shows the ROM chip it sees, 64 megabits. It can find the VSS uh, parameter RAM block, the FSIS block, which is where your serial number is stored. It's, it, it is saying the Mac is set to English and uh, even American English. Then it's showing the, the last network that it was connected to, plus some gibberish. The name of the machine, the serial number of the Mac, production date of the Mac, shows that it's not locked. Firmware version MacBook Pro 13.3. Motherboard 00281. So this is a Retina 15-inch uh, touch bar. And it's gone round. It's done everything. Let's see if we can read it this non-powered state. So with one switch up it's going to read the um, ROM and copy it into the internal ROM of the Medusa. First it, the Medusa wipes its internal ROM. We'll fast forward a little bit so that you won't get too bored. And now it's going to read. The Medusa is very clever about the reading, so it knows when it is really seeing the chip and when it is really reading. So if we just unplug this just for the heck of it, you'll see it immediately stops. And if we plug it back in, it continues. And we can play with this. So if the Medusa manages to read the ROM, you know that you have actually read it properly.
Okay, it's done reading. Now we're going to verify it, but we'll verify it the powered way. So we get rid of the uh, Easy Flash adapter, and now we'll plug it into the other plug on our testing board. So now it is connected directly without the Easy Flash in between, and that means that the Medusa is actually able to power the ROM chip. So now let's verify it and see what it has to say. It should read the same thing, of course. But this is the way to check it. Here as well it is checking whether it sees the chip so if we unplug it it stops. You see the counter stops counting and if we plug it back in it continues again. And the Verify says the ROM is identical to what it saw before, so we know that it's been reading it quite well. Thank you for watching this small demonstration of the CMI Zapper Medusa.